and students don't do scribbling yes india is a vast country you all know yes very big country with a large population you know india is standing second in the world population yes you know first country in the population china china is the first country in the population so we have large population and it is not possible that from the central government it can be observed so because of that reason only india has been divided into 29 states and states again into different different districts and majority of population of india are living in villages yes see out of 100% 70% of the people in india are living in villages and village what type of occupation they do work agriculture agriculture is the main occupation in indian villages to ensure there is law and order public services and basic amenities and basic amenities like water electricity there is an effective administrative machinery and the, this is the task of rural administration yes so rural administration takes care the basic amenities amenities meaning services students amenities means you can underline this word amenities means services services like water water is essential electricity road construction transport all these facilities has to be provided and law and order also should be there that all people are living safely and happily without any discrimination so who maintains law and order it's a policeman yes every police station works for a particular area people living in that area people living in that area report any crime have areas of accident etc in their police station officers take action within their jurisdiction jurisdiction means in their according to their area and rules and regulations that is called jurisdiction police officers on duty are not allowed to go beyond that jurisdiction is rules and regulation it is that if they cannot give punishment without any reason till they get any proof of the crime their person has done now the first information report that is fir what is this fir it is there to register a case one goes to the police station of that area and writes down whatever has happened so it can be investigated this is known as registering the first information report means to inform first whatever has happened that is called fir means complaint any complaint it happened in a case ki fir launch karwai that we have done this thing so fir means first information report anything any crime has been happened in the nearby area that is called first information report and on the basis of this fir the station house officer has said to send the constable to investigate the matter and takes necessary action you all know i hope many of you might be watching that serial madam sir yes watching madam sir yes now in that it is coming na sho yes so sho means the police station ka jo head hota hai that is called station house officer and in short it is called as sho so that that sho ask or send the constable to find about the details of that incident whatever might have happened so apart from basic facilities we need ki we are safe and that safety who is taking care of our safety police yes in the village also police is there in the cities also police is there means sometimes happen see again you might be thinking ki yesterday i explained about the nyay panchayat small disputes but every time everything cannot be solved by this nyay panchayat so there also police is there in the rural areas dear students so you should be very clear what is fir it is first information report whatever has happened in that area 
that should be complained to the police so that they can move further about the investigating it now next is about the maintenance of land and re land records maintenance is the how much land is there who is earning by whose name it is there this all work is called the keeping the land records zameen ke records rakhna you all know in villages lot of land is there hai na so who is the owner who is having how much land everything should be recorded so who is doing this work we'll study about that in cases involving land disputes can approach the village pan patwari so who is taking care of this it is patwari yes namai gar what makes you smile i have not shared any joke yes being disciplined the patwari keeps the record of land area owned by the people yes everything means which person is having how much land everything is taken care by this patwari in bihar also there is patwari who keeps records of all the land records what are you writing name no need to write you have whole day to write anything it is recorded that the can who how much and how which land is owned by whom means record uh, which person is having which land how much land he has how much he is using for agriculture how much he has used for construction purpose all these details are kept with the patwari and there are other names also by which patwari is known a patwari is also called lekpal a kundo or karmachari this lekpal who is keeping the written records means lekpal kundo or karmachari these all are the names which a patwari has every village gets a number given by the patwari and the record forms a part of the register of records kept by patwari as shown in the figure because see in your book on page number 113 table is given yes table is given you can see that records area in hectare two hectare then who is all owner how many persons are there three persons then names rented area cultivation means he has two hectare first example i am reading then how many how much area he is growing the crops and how much area is not cultivated everything this all in the tabular form patwari keeps the records now the functions of the patwari what are the functions they are measuring land because without measurement he won't be having any record we don't know how much land a person is having for example i am having a land so my name should be there we should keep measuring of the land records how much lands are there then cultivate collecting revenue revenue means the tax whatever land we have we have to pay the tax as we are paying for the house tax same way they have to pay the taxes for the land also maintaining records of crops grown yes means i am having land and i am growing the crops so everything detail about me should be there with the patwari ki okay, i have 5 hectare land then in 3 hectare land i am growing my crops how much crops i have grown that should be also there in how much i have given to cultivation how many workers are working on my land everything has to be kept by patwari changes in the fields carried out by farmers yes if anything change i do in my field then that is has to be also kept record by the patwari maintaining land records belonging to different villages yes and it's not that ki this patwari belong to only one village no many villages as you might have heard yesterday i explained ki there are nyay panchayat in not all villages many villages together same way 
so patwari is also for many villages not the one patwari for one village so he has to keep records of all the different villages which comes under his and the patwari is assisted by other officers in carrying out his duties yes even he takes guidance from his other departments tehsildar nap tehsildar sdr there are many people accountant to guide him in his accounting work how he has to keep the records because these records may be asked verified by district collector also any time yes laksharaj what's wrong with you every day you are sleeping okay so this was about the land records kept by the patwari patwari is also called as lekpal now the last topic about this chapter is inheritance of law that is hindu succession amendment act see before that one topic is there in your book about the rural administration how it works efficiently i'll go through that with the help of a book only yes india is divided into small states and union territories why because whole country cannot be administered to the central position these territories are in turn divided into districts in order to run the administration district comprises adjacent villages and towns yes for example if we talk about the ajmer only so ajmer district so many other towns are coming under ajmer district as jawar kishangar hai na nasirabad then upangar ajmer itself so many things so it cannot be taken care by only one person one collector so he is divided into small small villages and many towns the district headquarters are located at central place the revenue department manages all the work related to the land the sub divisions of districts are called tehsil and taluka and we can say our gavar is a tehsil sub division of the district is tehsil and taluka so we have gavar as a tehsil because we have tehsil office in our gavar you all know where it is near the ajmeri gate we have tehsil at ajmeri gate students clear yeah. the district collector is the head of the revenue department under him small officers like tehsildar and nayab tehsildar who assist him in his work they guide him below them are the patwaris who give information about the ownerships of area location cultivated area and the facilities available yes we full said properly no na here of class yes so patwari also guides the district collector in how much type portion of the land is been owned now the tehsildar makes a sure that all records are updated yes now patwari also keeps the records all these records by tehsildar na tehsildar are observed by the district collector that students means what are the duties birth certificate death certificate students are getting their uh, certificates caste certificates residential certificates properly or not farmers obtain the copy of the land records or not all these things computers have now made it easier to obtain this record as they are computerized and registered now about the hindu succession act what is it you all know about that earlier the women were not getting the part of salary or part of the income from father's side only son was given the whatever the property father has was only the owner's son but now after this act hindu succession act it is made that girls or daughters can also have share in their father's property so here is a story about jamuna das and kanta prasad they had their siblings janki who was married and stayed in a village in nearby so 
Jamuna Das and Kanta Prasad. They were the brothers, and they had one sister, Janki, who was staying in the nearby village. Janki was also given an equal share in the property. According to the new Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005, after the death of the head of the family, the property is to be equally shared between his wife, sons, as well as daughters. That is the right in God's school and equal to daughter also. This law is positive step towards bringing about gender equality in society. Yes, gender equality means all boys and girls are equal. This was not there earlier. Students. This has come after the act of 2005. The girl also can have their father's property equally. This new law of inheritance marks on the important lines milestone in ensuring the equality of women. Although it is applicable only among the Hindu community, however, it has to be implemented properly by creating awareness among the women folk, both in rural and urban areas, so that they can establish and claim their legal rights. So students, this is about the inheritance law. Clear? I hope it's clear about the Hindu Succession Act. Students? Okay. Now, students, if you have